ओके सो योर दिस क्वेश्चन योर गाइस दिस क्वेश्चन सेज दैट सो एक्चुअली इट्स अ क्वेश्चन इट्स अ वेरी ओपन एंडेड क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली यू कैन पुट दिस इन arithmetic you can put this in algebra right whatever you wish but there's no just simple arithmetic involved in this no algebraic property that's why i have included included this question arithmetic only but it's a good question right because uh, if you don't know how to solve such questions you can feel sometime locked in this kind of situations right just listen to guys how to solve such questions this question says that a mathematical operation this i don't know what is the name here right so let's say i, I call it gamma okay so let's say i call it gamma so gamma is basically defined as x gamma y is equal to x plus 5y plus 33 divided by x5 plus 14 and we need to find the value of this expression here so actually in such kind of question what you do you in you try to make you try to adjust put few values and you try to eliminate one variable so let's say x gamma y i try to put some value in it could be 1 gamma y or it could be y gamma 1 okay could be 2 gamma y like that something like that right and just try to eliminate one variable so if you eliminate one variable here so that will this is how this is how you can attack such questions right for example if i just try to put here let's say uh, i just try to put here let's say i put x equal to 1 here if i put x equal to 1 then the x gamma y will be equal to x plus it will be equal to x plus or x is 1 right So if I put x is equal to one here, so x equal to one plus five y plus thirty three. Now divide by what? X y plus fourteen. Notice x y plus is y plus fourteen, right? So I think if I solve it here, even five y plus thirty four divided by y plus fourteen, I'm not going to get get anything here. Is it will not be solved, right? Okay. For that I cannot eliminate one variable. So I just move on. I just try to put x equal to two. If I try to put x equal to two here. So two gamma y is equal to two uh, plus five y plus thirty three divided by two y plus fourteen. If you observe this guy, this is five y plus thirty five, and that's the observation you need here. So you can observe here that you can just cancel y plus seven here. Okay, so that's why you need to observe. You just need you can just cancel that y plus seven here, and actually you are just left with what? You're just left with Five by two. That basically means that two gamma y is equal to five by two. So now two gamma y will always be equal to five by two, irrespective of the value of y, right? So two gamma y is always five by two. So that's how this question is solved. Now, understand this. What I'm trying to say here is, so what is what is what is said that two gamma y will always be equal to five by two. It is because there's no variable involved. Here. So even if I change y, the value will remain same. Five by two only. No variable involved here. So what I'm trying to say is now, if I try to evaluate for this expression here, guys, look at this expression now. So I can simply write that this one gamma. Okay. So now basically one gamma anything. Okay. So because two gamma y is five by two. So I can say I can say here that I I can say here that this value is one gamma. Okay, so one gamma and then again two gamma. So two gamma y is five by two. The two gamma anything is five by two because I don't have any expression now. I don't two gamma y it y is not at all important here, right? So two gamma y will get just get cancelled now. So y uh, cancelled means ignored, right? So it is y is not not at all involved here. So I don't need to take care of this y. Two gamma anything is five by two because. I cannot change this value. This is a constant. Five by two is a constant. It doesn't contain any variable. That basically means that two gamma y is equal to five by two. So in that case, I can simply write here that it this is this whole is this whole expression two gamma anything is five by two. I can write this as one gamma five by two. If I write this as one gamma five by two, that means x value is one. And y value is five by two. If I put here one plus five into five by two plus thirty three divided by one uh one plus one into five by two plus fourteen, this actually will come how much? If you observe this, so one plus or uh, this is one plus twenty five by two plus thirty three divided by. Five by two plus fourteen. Okay, 
we can just solve it here guys so i can solve it here this will get uh, 2 plus 25 plus 66 so i think above will be 93 and below it will be uh, by 2 obviously 93 by 2 and this 2 2 will get cancelled so 93 by 33 so i think roughly 32 to 66 roughly 2.8 right so roughly 2.8 is the answer so option c i can mark here that's the answer right so good question a different question basically so we should know how to tackle this kind of question and this is how we can tackle such questions right okay and also And also, there are many who are studying live here, guys. So those who want to join the live batches, it's an LRDI batch going on. So this LRDI, I'm covering in multiple parts here, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. So in part one, we have got around 50 plus sets. And part two is coming from 8th of March, there's around 100 plus sets in this. So total in LRDI, we are going to be covering total 500 plus sets in LRDI. And it's a great practice for all of you. So those who want to, want to join, can join this LRDA part 2 from 8th March. So uh, LRDA part 1 recordings are available. So part 1 all the recordings are available in quant algebra batches going on. So basically uh, those who want to study live and have uh, uh, we have a lot of practice sessions. So there are around 500 plus questions in sets in LRDA and then 2000 plus questions in quant. So anyone who wish to join this they can join using my referral code Ravi Rodhat An Academy and they can they can use all this session sessions right even if you're not buying guys there are so many free practice sessions available on an academy do use them just go to my unacademy profile the link is in description here and you can find so many practice sessions of quant and lrdi please finish all those and all these sets we are doing here in this course are different from that right so if you wish to join plus you can join plus also using this my referral discount code here okay so this batch is from 8th march at 7 30 a.m Apart from our night batches of corn, it is at 10 p.m. Okay, thank you.